Hey guys, I'm Scotty from Street Machine Carnage and welcome to an exciting new project that we'll be bringing back to life with a little help from our friends at Rust-Oleum Motor Spray. This car is a 1968 Valiant Safari Wagon and it has definitely seen better days. The floor is very rusty and there's also some rust in a few other places but we won't know the full extent until we pull the car apart. So our plan is to use Rust-Oleum Motor Spray products to prepare, repair, finish and protect our Valiant Wagon and show you guys how to do the same with your own precious rides. Cool cars such as these are getting rarer by the day and certainly much more expensive. This car is definitely worth saving and when we're finished it will be a very cool ride. All we've done so far is go pick the car up and bring it down to the Carnage Workshop where we stripped out the seized engine and that very tired interior. But very shortly we're going to get the wagon back in the workshop, pull it down and see what we're working with. To start our journey, we're going to prepare our project by stripping back all the old paint and rust using Rust-Oleum Motor Spray's impressive range of products. Then we'll repair the affected areas with new metal, maybe a little body filler, before coating the surfaces in putty and primer. From there, we'll finish our work with underbody sealer, sound deadener, and motor spray acrylic lacquer. Finally, we'll protect the finished product so it'll last a lifetime and we can enjoy our wagon long into the future. And here we are in the Carnage Workshop with our Crustolian wagon. I've got young Kian here with me to help pull this thing down. Mate, have you ever worked on anything quite this rusty? Not this rusty. I have worked on cars that sold before, but these will definitely come in handy because this thing is really quite bad. Yep, gloves and eye protection are mandatory on this one. So today's mission is to pull it right down, all the panels off, bumpers, windows, windscreens, everything's coming out of this so we can see exactly how much rust we're dealing with. So let's roll it back get her up on the hoist and hook in. All right, Scotty, you've worked on these old Valiants plenty of times. What's the plan of attack? I reckon I'll get you down the rear end do the tailgate, do the rear bumper, probably bumper first. I'm going to start at the front bumper, guards, doors, work our way towards the rear. Uh, yeah, getting the bumper off pretty much is the first aim because uh, everything else will come off after that. So I reckon let's get it in the air. So as you can see, the floor pan is really bad in this car. It is, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's almost non-existent. But the chassis is still good. So the chassis is still intact. There's no rust in the chassis rails. So we'll be able to cut away that old floor metal. And uh, we have another floor pan over there that we can weld into this car. We have the equipment, we have the technology. We can rebuild it. We've found one of what will probably be many stubborn bolts. Uh, even multi grips haven't helped us out, so death wheel time.
What is that? Wow. That was a Sid Chrome socket set. I don't think it's any good anymore. Wow. That was hiding up in the guard. That's interesting. Getting windscreens for these old cars is getting harder and harder, so uh, might as well try and save this one. It doesn't seem to have any cracks in it. It looks like it might clean up all right, so we'll try and keep it if we can. So it turns out the rubber's too hard to even cut with a knife, so we're gonna just uh, run it, a flat-bladed screwdriver in here and kind of snap it out because the rubber is so hardened. So this is one of these areas that we're going to see if we find anything that's going to surprise us because at the moment there hasn't been really any surprises in the car. We haven't found any rust holes that we didn't expect. But the windscreen's always a, uh, a gift that never fails to give. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what we've got here. Let's dig this up a bit. <laughs> the rubber is toast. Okay, a little bit of little rust hole there at the front of the dash, but that's not actually in the window channel. A little bit of surface there, I think we can just treat it with some rust oleum. Bit of rust converter. I think we're good to go. Alright, so the windscreen's out, Scotty. What's next? I reckon we'll get you to start peeling back this wiring harness so we can poke it back through the firewall and we can pull the dash out. I'll also get you to start on the, uh, the brakes, pull out the master cylinder and the booster and the lines. None of that stuff works anyway, so I reckon we make ourselves a nice clean slate in here so we can redress this engine bay. I'm gonna go up the back, pull out the side glass, so make sure there's no rust around those rear windows. And then uh, once we've got everything sort of down to, well, a bare body shell, we can break out the tools. I reckon we can wire brush that, treat it with some rust converter. As you can see, the floor in this car is really quite rusty, but the culprit is probably that, an aftermarket heater. So this car never came with a heater from the factory. Someone's put one in there, and uh, I reckon it has leaked profusely and caused this massive rusty floor situation. So that will definitely not be going back in. It has been a massive day here in the workshop. We've stripped the car back as far as we're going to in terms of panels. But tomorrow we're gonna to come in, 
hit these areas with a wire wheel and some Rust-Oleum Motor Spray Rust Converter. And then we'll start addressing some of the other rust issues. Hey guys, we're in the Carnage Workshop today with our very rusty Valiant Wagon. We're going to hit it with some Rust-Oleum Motor Spray Prep Wash before we break out the Rust Converter. Whoops, Scotty should have used Rust Remover rather than Rust Converter. Rust Converter is useful in areas that are hard to access, such as the inside of doors or box section. But if you can access the whole panel, it is better to remove the rust completely using elbow grease. Followed by Rust Remover. So we've already hit the front end with the wire brush, but there's a lot of dust left over, plus who knows what other contaminants like wax, grease, tar, could be anything in there, and that's where the prep wash comes in handy. So you give it a hit with this, wipe it away with a cloth, and then you're ready for paint. For old cars like our Valiant Wagon, it is near impossible to find good straight sheet metal these days. So we've taken these guards off the car. They've got pretty much no heavy rust in them, but a few dents and that sort of thing. So we'll knock out the dents, give them some body filler, give them a coat, and see how we go from there. But to strip them back, there's two main methods. We've got the Rust-Oleum Quick Strip, and we have the Orbital Sandpaper. Now, both methods have pros and cons. So me and Ken are gonna choose a method each. Well, we'll flip a coin and see which suits us better. Not saying either method's right or wrong, but some methods may be more appropriate or better for you in your situation. So one of us will do the paint stripper, the other the orbital sander. I think they're both going to be messy. Alrighty, time to flip a coin. Mm. All right, call it. Heads. Heads it is. Heads. What would you like? I'm going to go sandpaper. Okay. I don't feel like gloving up, so I think sandpaper. For I me. guess I'm gloving up. So my chosen method is sandpaper, some nice tough 80 grit. Pull a disc out, pop it on the sander like so, and we're ready to destroy some paint. So we're down to bare metal already in what? 10, 15 seconds? I know there's a lot of panel left to do, but and the cool thing doing it this way as well is you can see all the layers. Young Kean's chosen the power tools, so I'm going to go old school with this Rust-Oleum quick strip, so paint stripper. So obviously you're going to use gloves, eye protection. If you've got any itchy noses or ears or anything, get that out of the road well beforehand because once you've got this stuff on your hands, you do not want it on your face. Obviously, try and choose some older clothing because if you rub against this stuff, it's gonna eat through your clothes. So just be aware, there are a whole bunch of warnings here. Read them. Okay, so what we're gonna do is tip some into this old ice cream container, which means we can use the brush to apply it. Tip some in. It's pretty thick. Okay, let's get started. Always make sure you use a respirator while using paint stripper. Safety first. Lay them a bit more down here. I was a little bit cautious to start off with, so let's make sure we got plenty on there. That paint's already softening up quite considerably. Okay, we'll let that sit for about 10 minutes or so, 10 to 15 minutes, and then we'll come back, start scraping.
Okay. So I think the results speak for themselves. Paint stripping is definitely faster. The sander works well, but it's a little bit more labour intensive. I think the best result you could ask for would be to use paint stripper to start off with, neutralise it with water, give it a hit of thinners, and then hit it with the double action air sander, and I think you couldn't ask for a better result than that. So I think I'll uh, see if Cam wants to use some paint stripper on that, and I might borrow his uh, double action. So we're going to do some rust converter on this bottom edge and around the edge of the uh, the guard, the wheel opening there. So use some prep wash first to give the panel a good clean down. Nice clean cloth. It's a good idea to use two microfiber cloths when using prep wash. One to apply and one to remove. Obviously you don't want to touch the panel with your hands afterwards. Want the freshest, cleanest metal you can. Now with this rust section here, well it's not really that heavily rusted, it's just got some surface rust. And same across the edge. But the beauty of this rust converter is you can spray it straight over it. And it'll do the trick. Now it does have like a primer in there as well, a primer and sealer, as well as a rust converter. Give it a good shake. Now it doesn't have particularly good coverage. Although that's come up not too bad. But yeah, just give it a nice light coat. So that's come up quite good. Okay, so now that we've done all that, removed all the paint, I'm going to lay some primer surfacer over it just to protect it in the time period before we uh, actually do some work to it. So we're not necessarily going to do a lot with the panels right this second. So we'll lay some primer surfacer over it just for the time being, just to protect the panel. It won't be a lot of paint, so if we need to remove it again, it'll be easy to take off but it'll just protect it in the meantime. So obviously we want to prep wash it first, wipe it clean, get the cleanest possible surface, and then we'll get out our primer surfacer and lay down a light coat. So it's just a light coat, but it's all over, so it should keep it Clear of any uh, surface rust or contaminants that may infect it by the time we work on it. So, but we do have a bit of work to do on this panel. So we'll put it aside and come back to it another day. So we've already started stripping back the panels, laying down some primer. We're going to work through the rest of the panels, but now it is time to hook in to the rest of the bodywork. Ken, how do you feel about uh, Valiant front ends? I don't have any feelings yet because I've never pulled one apart, but it doesn't look incredibly intricate so time will tell I guess you're the expert so we'll follow your guide and pull this thing apart. They're about as complicated as a Massey Ferguson tractor so um, we'll pull it apart and then we can start cleaning up under these guards and that so well, let's hook into it. Wow, that is the first time I've ever done that. That is a major suspension bolt, and uh, yeah, I just snapped it off. You can see, actually, it may have been compromised earlier, but uh, yeah, not good. Oh well, new bolts.
So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Carnage Plus brought to you by Rust-Oleum Motorspray. We've still got a few more to do in this series. We've already made a great start by stripping back this wagon most of the way. Obviously we've started working on those front panels and we'll do some more work with those next episode as well as the rest of the panels. And we're also going to paint strip the rest of this body shell along with cutting out the floor so we can weld in a new floor pan section and address some of the other rusty areas on this car. So you'll see more of that next episode. Join us then.